Right now, a bridge in Pittsburgh collapses hours before President Biden visits the city to discuss his infrastructure bill. And a hearing to allow Kyle Rittenhouse to get his gun back. The breaking news in that case just into the newsroom this afternoon. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to News 3 New at Noon. I'm Leah lynch -Eyed. Mark Kane has the day off. We're in for a bit of a brisk Friday afternoon heading into your weekend. We're going to head over to the Weather Center where meteorologist Dana Fulton has a look at your certified most accurate forecast. Hey, Thanks. Dana. Hey, thankfully it's uh, sunny outside right now, so at least it looks like it'll feel a little more comfortable. Unfortunately, we're only seeing temperatures in the low teens right now. And when you factor in that breeze from the north and the single digits, that puts our wind chill just above zero. 16 in Janesville, 14 right now in Mineral Point. Compared to this time yesterday, it's a temperature swing in the other direction, about a 20 degree drop in the last 24 hours. Again, cold air across the northern Midwest, so we aren't alone in this boat, but it is indicative of really what we're expected to see through the rest of today and heading into the start of the weekend. Temperature wise tonight, we drop down to the single digits, plan on another night with lows below zero. And another morning tomorrow with wind chills down in the 5 to 15 below zero range. The good news, we do have a, a small warming trend for the weekend into the start of next week. Leah, it'll be a little more comfortable outside for Sunday and Monday afternoons. Uh, but it's not a brief or not a long warming trend for us really through the weekend. Hey, nowhere to go but up. Exactly. Dana, thank you very much. 1201 now, rescue crews forming a human chain this morning in Pittsburgh to rescue people in a dangling bus following a bridge collapse. The sound of the collapse was audible from this home camera. Take a listen. The two-lane bridge collapsed just hours before President Biden was set to visit the city to talk about his infrastructure bill. Officials say there are only minor injuries from the collapse, no fatalities, miraculously. Pittsburgh Fire Chief Daryl Jones described the rescue effort. Also did like a daisy chain with hands, just grabbing people and pulling them up. So uh, it was a physical rescue, most of them are, but uh, we have some highly skilled and highly trained professionals on the job here. Pittsburgh is lucky in that respect. So uh, it was handled as best as it could be handled. City officials said the collapse caused a gas leak as well. The gas has since been shut off. And some breaking news in Wisconsin, just into our newsroom in the Kyle Rittenhouse case. A Wisconsin judge ruling he will not get the weapon back that he used to shoot three protesters in August of 2020. Rittenhouse, the state of Wisconsin, and Judge Dominic Black all agreed to allow the Kenosha Police Department to destroy the gun, the magazine, and the scope. Proof of destruction will be provided to the parties when it's completed. Other items, however, including a mask and gloves, have been returned to Rittenhouse. Two of the three men who were shot died from their injuries that night in August. A jury last year acquitted Rittenhouse of multiple charges, including homicide. The entire East Coast is bracing for a powerful winter storm this afternoon that could dump as much as two feet of snow in places and bring hurricane force winds. The salt is out, the shovels are ready as a massive winter storm takes aim at the East Coast. The storm is expected to track just off of the eastern seaboard. Winter storm watches have been issued from North Carolina all the way to Maine. The exact path could still shift, but on New York's Long Island, officials are asking residents to get ready for the worst. Let's think about getting prepared, getting ready, getting smart, and being safe. Those are the key things we need to remember for this weekend. Forecasters say the storm will hit hardest on Saturday, dumping as much as two inches of snow an hour. New York City could see a half a foot or more on the ground, but the heaviest is expected in New England. Boston could see more than two feet. And when that storm arrives, it's expected to be as powerful as a nor'easter with hurricane force winds and sub-zero wind chills. While Russian troops continue to mass near the Ukrainian border this afternoon, Russia's foreign minister is now declaring there will be no war. But he warns Moscow will defend its interest. In a call last night with the president of Ukraine, President Biden reaffirmed America's re readiness to respond if, dis if Russia does invade. Holly Williams is in Ukraine. A source tells CBS News that on that phone call with President Biden yesterday, Ukraine's President Vladimir Zelensky asked the US to tone down its rhetoric about an imminent invasion. Now that may sound strange because after all, it's Ukraine that has roughly 100,000 Russian troops sitting on its border. 
But actually, the Ukrainian government has consistently been urging calm, seemingly because it knows that panic, people clearing out supermarket shelves, people fleeing the country, would be extremely destabilizing. As you can see, things here look very normal. And that's perhaps also because Ukrainians have been living with Russian aggression for years, including a war in eastern Ukraine against Russian-backed separatists that's claimed more than 14,000 lives, according to the Ukrainian government. But this place, the Maidan, the square that is the symbolic heart of Kyiv, is a reminder of just how fragile Ukraine is, because it's caught in a tug of war between the West and Russia. We were here almost exactly eight years ago, when there were mass protests against the country's then-president, who was pro-Russian. Now, things turned violent, state security forces opened fire, and it ended up with dead bodies on the pavement very close to this spot. Now, different countries have different assessments of what Russia might do, and there's no question that Ukraine perceives the threat. But the Ukrainian government seems to be trying to avoid panicking this country, and it's roughly 45 million people. Holly Williams, CBS News, Kyiv, Ukraine. Today, we are learning a man was shot multiple times on the north side of Madison yesterday afternoon. It happened along Troy Drive near Warner Park on the north side around 1230. Police say the victim and suspect did know each other and were in an argument just before the shooting. The victim was taken to the hospital but is expected to be okay. No one is under arrest right now. A former Stoughton City Council member accused of possessing child pornography out of his pretrial conference this afternoon, 67-year-old Paul Lawrence is charged with five counts. He was arrested in September after state investigators executed a search warrant on his home. While in his bedroom, law enforcement found a closed laptop with sound coming from it. When investigators opened it, the laptop was playing a video of two teenagers having sex. If convicted, Lawrence faces a minimum sentence of three years in prison for each charge. The charges each carry a maximum sentence of 25 years. The funeral service for fallen New York City police officer Jason Rivera is being held this morning at St. Patrick's Cathedral. The 22-year-old rookie and his partner were killed after responding to a domestic violence call last week. Nationwide, there's been a dramatic rise in the number of police officers killed in the line of duty. Laura Podesta reports. Fellow officers draped the casket of fallen New York City police officer Jason Rivera in white as mourners packed St. Patrick's Cathedral for his final farewell. Death surely does sting, especially when a young person's life is cut short. The 22-year-old rookie got married just months ago to his high school sweetheart. Rivera and his partner, Wilbert Mora, were shot last week while responding to a domestic violence call. Rivera died that night. Mora, who was 27, died four days later. New York City Mayor Eric Adams, a former police officer himself, was one of the speakers. Once the cop, is always a cop. It never goes away. Every retired member inside this church and in this city feels the pain. Thousands of people, including police officers and regular New Yorkers, braved the cold and the snow to give a final salute to the young officer. Coming here, showing our, our unity within the community, um, I think it will send a message. Last year, gunshots killed 61 officers in the line of duty nationwide, a 36% increase from 2020. Next week, many of these mourners will be back for Officer Mora's funeral. Laura Podesta, CBS News, New York. The gunmen who killed officers Rivera and Mora were, were fatally shot by a third officer. 12.08 now, there's more news to come on News 3 Now at Noon. Anxiety on the rise as investors close out a tumultuous weekend, a makeover for Minnie Mouse. I'm Diane King-Haw at the CBS Broadcast Center. I'll have those stories and more in your CBS Money Watch report. Save big during Steinhoffel's Scratch Off Sale. Start with 35% off store-wide and scratch off to save up to an extra 5%. Steinhoffel's has the largest selection of in-stock furniture and mattresses for every style and budget at the guaranteed lowest prices. And when you take advantage of Steinhoffel's special financing, your new furniture is now even more affordable. So shop in-store or online and save big during Steinhoffel's Scratch Off Sale. Relax, it's Steinhoffel's. 
How much money have you wasted trying to find the right shade of foundation to match your skin tone? You end up with so many unused bottles, yet you can't bear to throw them out. Now, there's Color Beauty self-adjusting foundation, which means you'll never search for the perfect shade again. It's really difficult for me to find a good tone foundation. I usually purchase about three or four and sometimes mix them. Color Beauty is a game changer in finding the right foundation. You put it on your skin and it transforms into your own skin tone. The Color Beauty foundation is so simple to put on. My skin looks great and it just looks awesome. The key to the innovative Color Beauty formula is tiny color beads that release and blend to perfectly match your skin tone as you apply it. The foundation is white when it comes out of the bottle, but when I begin to apply it, it adjusts to blend perfectly with the color of my skin. My biggest problem area is my cheeks right here. Color Beauty feels really light on my skin, and I can tell that it is pretty full coverage, so it looks like I don't have too much foundation on, but it is covering all my acne scars like I was saying before. I actually really love it. It's weightless and it's full coverage and also it literally just matches my skin as soon as I put it on. It's no work. I've never experienced a foundation like this. Color Beauty only comes in two colors, light and medium. If you have fair skin or you burn easily, go with the light. If you have darker skin, go with the medium. Plus, with an SPF of 50, they're getting the highest level of sun protection in a lightweight formula. And best of all is Color Beauty's exclusive special. Order this New Year's and get 40% off. That means you'll get the color adjusting foundation, the skin smoothing primer, and the fan favorite lash enhancer for thicker, longer looking lashes at 40% off. Plus, get free shipping. Visit color40.com or call the number on your screen. At iMart Express, it's just the right price. Two pairs of glasses start under 40 bucks. Using insurance? We accept over a thousand plans, and using your benefits is as easy as one, two, three. No insurance? No problem. Glasses to fit your budget. It's just the right price. Only at iMart Express. You're watching News 3 Now at Noon. Winner of the National Edward R. Murrow Award for Overall Excellence in Television. Another day, another drop on Wall Street. Stocks moved lower in early trade amid weak economic data, and Wall Street's so-called fear gauge shot up to the highest level since October of 2020. Consumers spent less money during the December holidays. According to the Commerce Department, personal spending fell six-tenths of a percent last month. The drop came amid a rise in coronavirus cases due to the spread of the Omicron variant. Meantime, a measure of inflation rose to a 40-year high. The FTC has slapped Fashion Nova with a $4.2 million fine to settle allegations. The company blocked negative product reviews from being posted online. The federal agency says between 2015 and 2019, the fast fashion retailer suppressed thousands of negative reviews while simultaneously using a third-party tool, allowing it to automatically post four- and five-star reviews. The FTC says this is the first case of its kind. And Minnie Mouse is ditching her signature polka dot dress for a new look. Disney in Paris unveiled Minnie's new blue pantsuit with black polka dots. The wardrobe update is in honor of Women's History Month in March. Designer Stella McCartney says the change reflects a symbol of progress for a new generation. The outfit debuts this March. And that's your CBS Money Watch report. For more, head to cbsmoneywatch.com. At the CBS Broadcast Center, I'm Diane Kinghall. 12, 13 your time now at the noon hour stocks up across the board Dow Jones up by 60 Nasdaq almost up by 200 points the S&P up 40. Winter sports lovers getting into the Olympic spirit this morning this afternoon with an activity Wisconsinites certainly love the event called curling and cocktails is making its return in Washington DC after proving popular during the last Winter Olympics in Pyeongchang. A little known fact curling was first played in late medieval Scotland. While many of Washington's curler wannabes said they loved watching it on TV, few understood the rules. One participant said she and her partner watched two YouTube videos to prepare. Uh, I'm going to do whatever YouTube told me. Uh, I didn't win. Yeah. Just win. He said something about being on top of your center of gravity and then uh, releasing when it feels right. 
Harder than it looks, folks. The experience has given participants a newfound appreciation for the professional teams, which will compete in Beijing at the Winter Olympics from February 2nd to February 20, just a few days away now. All right, next at noon, Dana Fulton looking ahead to the weekend and a little warm up. Maybe you can find yourself a little curling. Her certified most accurate forecast is next. It's here, Wisconsin. Ashley Home Store's Mega Mattress Clearance Event is on now. Millions of dollars worth of in-stock clearance, floor samples, and overstock mattresses must be sold. Line up for savings up to 85% off while it lasts. Plus, no interest financing for five years. Only at Ashley Home Store. Save big money on new flooring from Menards. Marquee Industries Carpet has an ultra-soft touch and feel. Their stylish and luxurious designs make it ideal for living rooms and bedrooms. IBC's Sheet Vinyl Flooring is a great way to enhance the beauty of your home. It's durable, waterproof, and easy to install. Save big money on new carpet and sheet vinyl flooring. During Menards, more bang for your buck sale. Save big money at Menards. Guys, if you're suffering from erectile dysfunction, Peak Performance for Men has a natural solution that can help you today. That's right. Stop wasting money on pills and inferior technology that hurts and just masks your ED. Fix it for good. The best part? Our ED treatment is non-invasive, painless, and you can get back to your natural function ability after just a few short in-office sessions. Call us today and mention this ad and your initial consultation is free. We are Madison's trusted specialist and only national erectile dysfunction provider. Call Peak Performance for Men today. Those brave men and women of our armed forces, generations of them, why should today's burdens fall back onto them? They were there for us. Now let's be there for them. Your local Wisconsin energy providers and the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund are working together to deliver Wisconsin veterans in crisis heat, power, and help staying in their home. But they can't do it alone. Call to donate today. It's here, Wisconsin. Ashley Home Store's Mega Clearance Event is on now. Millions of dollars worth of in-stock clearance, floor sample, and special purchase furniture and mattresses must be sold. This is your chance to save as much as 85% off while it lasts. Plus, no interest financing for three years store-wide. Only at Ashley Home Store. Hey, folks. Saturday morning, we'll have the weekend's top headlines, including efforts to slow down the spread of coronavirus. Plus, we'll have the updated track on the next chance for some snowfall. We'll time it out. Your certified most accurate forecast Saturday at 5 and 8. The Halderson trial. Over two weeks of brutal details and testimony. And News 3 Now covered it all start to finish. Taking you beyond the courtroom with live reports and analysis on air, online, and on social media. News 3 Now. Team coverage you can trust. The Farm Report is sponsored by Blaine's Farm and Fleet. It's 12-17. Time to check in with the farm babe, Pam Yonke. Pam, you surprised to see me here this late? Uh, pardon me, I didn't hear that. Are you surprised to hear see me here this late? I, I did notice that. I should have should have exchanged emails with you this morning. Yeah, welcome to the noon show. Oh yeah. The nice part about this is ours are a little bit more friendly uh, compared to those early morning shows, and That's true. Uh, the weather hopefully a little bit more friendly this weekend. Want to remind people Leah, something that you and I talked about this morning. Uh, tomorrow is the Kyle Thompson uh, benefit out in Barnevelt, happening at the Legion Hall out there. Uh, Kyle Thompson's a young dairy farmer that had a terrible farm accident back in December basically uh, lost the his half of his leg the bottom half of his leg still dairy farming though trying to get it done he's got a wife Carly and three little boys and a new baby on the way in just a couple weeks the uh, Kyle Thompson spaghetti dinner benefits happening starting at 4 30 tomorrow afternoon Barneville Legion Hall I just took a look at the reservations they're asking for reservations because the facility is a little small and they want to be respectful of COVID and uh, there's just a few slots left you can still go takeout and you can also still be involved in their raffle and auction just google kyle thompson spaghetti benefit and you'll find the details starts at 4 30 goes till 7 30 tomorrow we wish them the very best of luck so the markets today are kind of following wall street as far as trends are concerned the dairy markets did manage to turn things around a little bit today we had been hearing that a lot of the big surge in barrel cheese block cheese and butter prices was based on some retailers trying to buy for their east needs to make sure that with all the shipping delays they'd still have their product available today we say barrel cheese up six and a half at 174 and a quarter 40 pound black cheese up six at 179 the double a butter finishes the week a nickel stronger at 254 a pound so a little bit rebound a bounce on a friday and if we're going to have one i guess a friday's as good a day to have it as any 
You better believe it, Pam. Hey, way to wrap up my nice long day. Nice to see you again. Have a good weekend, kiddo. Yeah, you too. See you soon. Mm -hmm. Okay, over to Dana Fulton now with our certified most accurate forecast. Three things to know, Dana. It is cold outside right now. <laughs> That's thing number one. I'm pretty sure if you've stepped outdoors at all today, you've recognized that. We had quite a temperature swing over the last 24 hours. Yesterday, we saw high temperatures in the low 30s. Today, we're going to be lucky if we land in the middle teens, generally across the board, mid to low teens for afternoon highs. We stay dry all the way through the weekend, but next week, we could have some snow building in for the middle of the week for the start of February. Could mix along with some rain as well. A bit of a messy setup for the middle of the week. Right now, our Doppler track nice and quiet for our Friday. Again, this is really going to be the scene for us through the weekend. So it's cold outside, but at least that's coming along with some sunshine. Temperatures expected to rise a few more degrees over the next few hours. So afternoon highs will land in the mid to low teens overnight with our breeze coming in from the northwest. Uh, yet again, temperatures drop well below freezing wind chills in the 5 to 15 below range. So it's going to feel quite as cold outside. Not as bad as what we saw earlier this week, but uh, still quite frigid for early on for a Saturday. In the afternoon, we'll add on a few more degrees from where we're at today. High temperatures will be in the mid 20s, so just a little bit below average. Some cloud coverage building in late Saturday with a slight chance for flurry Saturday night heading into Sunday morning. Again, most of the area will stay dry. Not too concerned uh, about that adding up to much. Could see a few snowflakes swirling around a light dusting for early Sunday morning. Sunday afternoon, high temperatures climbing up to the upper 20s. So yet again, closer to average for us heading into the start of next week before things uh, get a little colder, a little more messy outside for next week. In our 6 to 10 day outlook, our temperature profile really trending below average through most of the country. We get a nice little shock of some colder air by the end of next week. And in our 8 to 14 day outlook, that really anchors in and stays with us. You can see that starting to shift a little more to the east, but that does still include uh, southern Wisconsin stretching at that point almost into the middle of February. We still have to wrap up January 1st and uh, as we wrap up the month, temperatures trending up for us heading into uh, the start of next week. Wind chills for tomorrow morning. That 5 to 15 below range afternoon high temperatures close to low 20s a sunshine for us on a Sunday and then as we head into Monday we'll be close to freezing a bit breezy outside for Monday but we're back to the low 30s now this is the event that we're going to be keeping a close eye on for Tuesday because high temperatures will be in the mid to upper 30s because of this we could see some mixed precipitation and with the snow likely going to see some rain for some areas south of Dane County in the afternoon as that builds in that really could lead to some messy road conditions for us for the evening commute on Tuesday. Still quite a bit of time to iron out the timing and the temperature profile with that event, but something we're going to keep a very close eye on all the way through the weekend. As we get to the back half of that event, though, Tuesday night into Wednesday and Thursday, we cool down. Temperatures drop well below freezing, so at that point we're looking at a snow event, some accumulation possible for Wednesday into Thursday, a few rounds of snow possible uh, with that event through the middle of the week, and then it gets colder for the following weekend. Temperatures back in the teens for afternoon highs, overnight lows trending near zero. So we aren't out of the woods yet with the cold and we still have a little more winter weather around the corner for us also. Yeah, it seems like we've had a lot of cold weather, not so much snow, Dana. You're thinking a little bit of accumulation potentially by the end of the week. Definitely by the end of the week with that event. Uh, but as far as if it's going to be more accumulation snow versus rain, that's something we're going to have to keep an eye on. Gotcha. All right, Dana with that first warn. Thank you very much. 1223 up next. Howard wraps up his week-long tribute to old TV shows. Today's episode in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen started out as a three-hour tour. Join us as we remember the cast and crew of the SS Minnow and sail into the last day of our tasty tribute to retro TV shows. News 3 Now First Warn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Three days only. Day Furs acquired over 500 new garments and cool weather accessories and everything must go. Save 40 to 80%. Pre-owned furs starting at $49. All accessories 60% off at Day Furs this Thursday through Saturday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. I like my smile. I like my smile after finishing the power swabs. I think white teeth are absolute sexy magnets. I love it. The power swabs have really made a huge difference on the entire quality and color of my teeth and I'm very, very happy with them. <laughs> I've used strips and trays and they both gave me really sensitive teeth for hot drinks, ice cream, anything hot or cold. Really, really sensitive teeth. 
With the power swabs, I've been using them for a week and nothing. I had hot coffee this morning and ice cream last night and no problems. <laughs> it is so fast. It is effective. The great thing about power swabs is that it's just easy to use. To me, it's the best solution for teeth whitening on the market. Introducing Power Swabs, the five minute stain removing and whitening treatment. Apply the step one stain removing cleanser. Use the swab to get in between teeth, around edges, as the blue cleansing detergent is thin enough to get into pores to release stains. Open swab two. Duplicate the process. Instantly see up to a full two shade difference. That's powerful. Forget gooey trays. Save a fortune on electronics. Forget slippery strips. Imagine your teeth up to six shades whiter in a week. Call or visit us online now and we'll send you the complete power swab system. Seven cleansing swabs. Seven power swab foaming whitening swabs. Thanks for celebrating hundreds of thousands of satisfied smiles. We're offering them to you right now for this incredible discount. We'll pay your shipping and handling. If you're not fully satisfied, even after day one, return it for your money back. Laugh more, smile more, enjoy life more. Call right now or go online now and we've been authorized for a limited time to include our on-the-go Power Swab Stain Out Quick Stick. It's a $19.95 value, free. With this complete offer, you are saving over 40%. Call or go online now. Brighten your smile and your life now. Three days only. Day Furs acquired over 500 new garments and cool weather accessories and everything must go. Save 40 to 80%. Pre-owned furs starting at $49. All accessories 60% off at Day Furs this Thursday through Saturday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. It may have started out as a three-hour tour, but anyone who watched Gilligan's Island back in the 60s knows that it lasted a bit longer than that. After all these years, who can forget that theme song or the fun and zany antics that took place as seven castaways desperately tried to get off the island? To help bring back some of those memories, what do you say we whip up an easy dish that's inspired by the show and is fancy enough to have pleased Mr. and Mrs. Howell? We start off by flouring some jumbo shrimp. Once they're all coated, we dip each one in some beaten egg, and then into a flavor-packed coconut breading. To give these their crispy, crunchy finish, we fry them until the shrimp is cooked through and the coconut breading is golden. These are great as is, or with our homemade creamy pineapple dipping sauce. With food this good served in a tropical setting, why would anyone want to be rescued? To get the recipe for what we call castaway coconut shrimp, all you have to do is visit our website. I'm Howard in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen, where we hope you had as much fun as we did looking back at some of our favorite retro TV shows. Every one of them gave us a reason to say, ooh, it's so good. Stop fan and start eating. <laughs> Tasty stuff, thanks Howard. Not exactly paradise in Wisconsin no, today, Dana. No, no, and I'm a fan of the cold weather, but it is it is not tropical for us <laughs> outside right now at all. <laughs> Temperatures currently in the upper single digits in Madison. Highs today will climb to the mid to low teens with a mostly sunny sky. Wind chills as we look ahead to Saturday morning, yet again falling well below zero. Temperature wise will be below zero early Saturday morning, so it's going to be another cold day for us. But thankfully in the afternoon, we'll tack on a few more degrees, landing close to 20 for our afternoon highs. Mid 20s on Sunday for Monday, we're close to freezing. By the middle of next week, we're going to be keeping a close eye on an event that could bring some messy uh, setups for us on Tuesday. Right now, it looks like mostly snow, but because temperatures on Tuesday will climb to the mid to upper 30s, we could get some freezing rain or rain mixing into that Tuesday afternoon, uh, leading to what could be a messy Tuesday evening. Again, still quite a bit of time to iron out uh, the temperature profile and time for that, but something we'll be keeping an eye on for the start of February, right around the corner for us. Dana, thank you very much. Thanks for joining us for News 3 Now at Noon, folks. Have a great Friday and a great weekend.